Reed's popular and innovative universal pipe cutter, or UPC models, are capable of cutting through a variety of pipe, such as cast or ductile iron, PVC, PE, clay, and concrete pipe in one revolution. The UPC is available in three different size models for pipe diameters up to 48 inch. The UPC is easy and safe to use. It requires minimal training and maintenance time. The UPC provides an accurate cut up to pipe diameters of 48 inch. The UPC has a fast setup and cutting time. You can estimate about one minute total for each inch of pipe diameter. The UPC only needs a 12 inch clearance around the pipe. It can be used in trench situations, above ground, and even underwater. It is also very portable and easy to carry. The heaviest component is only 28 pounds. The UPC comes with all of these accessories, except for the specific blades and the power source. The UPC can be run by pneumatic or hydraulic power sources. For the pneumatic version, the power requirements are at least 50 cubic feet per minute at 90 PSI maximum. The hydraulic model's power requirements are 7.8 gallons per minute and up to 1500 PSI maximum. Although the UPC operates the same with both models, the setup of the power sources is different. Please refer carefully to the instructions given in the owner's manual on the use of either the pneumatic or hydraulic power supplies. We will now demonstrate the proper assembly, setup, and operation of the UPC. The first step in using the UPC is choosing the right blade and attaching it to the unit. Please refer to the Reed Catalog or UPC Manual for the blade selection chart. This will help you determine the right blade needed for your particular pipe cutting application. Remove the blade guard by loosening the two screws at the top of the guard. Install the selected blade on the 5 8 inch arbor shoulder. Install the flange with the relieved side toward the blade and screw on the lock nut. The UPC motor shaft rotates in a counterclockwise direction. It is important that the blade is installed so that it cuts in the same direction. While holding the supplied wrench on the 7 8 inch arbor flats, tighten the arbor lock nut. The blade must be fully seated on the arbor shoulder and be flush against the face of the arbor. When the blade is properly attached, be sure to reattach the blade guard and tighten down the set screws. Never operate the UPC without the blade guard attached. After you have attached the proper blade, the next step is to assemble the unit to the pipe. First, loosen the motor bracket locking knob. Then retract the motor bracket to its uppermost position by turning the feed knob counterclockwise. Connect the 13-link chain and turnbuckle assembly to the motor unit with the release pin. Extend the turnbuckle to the outermost position. For this demonstration, we will use a connecting frame due to the diameter of the pipe being cut. You will not need the connecting frame if working with smaller diameter pipe. Consult the manual for size requirements. Have someone hold the unit while you hook the connecting frame to the chain. Then wrap the chain around the pipe and connect it to the other side of the UPC. Tighten the turnbuckle so the unit is snug but can be rotated. Remember, the cutter should always be mounted on the section of pipe that is not being removed. To align the cutter, you must rotate the UPC around the pipe once. To check the tracking accuracy, Mark the pipe at one of the motor unit rollers, then rotate the unit once. If the tracking is off, loosen the turnbuckle and check the chain hook connections. Then retighten the turnbuckle and retrack the unit. Now it is time to connect the power source to the UPC. The UPC comes in two models, the hydraulic powered version and the pneumatic powered version. The assembly of these power sources is different, so please take special note. 
If you are using a pneumatic model of the UPC, you will need to connect the air hose to the coupling on the side of the motor in the slots provided. Also, carefully review the instructions on how to operate the air compressor power source provided by the manufacturer. It is absolutely necessary to use the filter, regulator, and lubricator or FRL while running the pneumatic UPC to help maximize motor life. Before you pressurize the unit, fill the oiler with the oil provided with the UPC. Set the air pressure at 90 PSI maximum or 6 bar for metric users. When the proper pressure is attained, tighten the wing nut on the bottom of the hand knob. After opening the valve to allow airflow, you must turn the small set screw to set the oil drip to 5 to 6 drops per minute. Be sure to read and understand the instructions for the proper use of the FRL assembly for the pneumatic UPC model. If you are using the hydraulic model UPC, you need only to connect the hydraulic hoses to the couplings on the side of the motor unit. Carefully review the instructions on how to operate the hydraulic power source provided by the manufacturer. The remaining setup and operation instructions apply to both UPC models. After filling the water tank about three quarters full, tightly close and pressurize the tank by pumping the handle about 20 times. Attach the hose end to the blade guard. The water will help cool the blade while cutting. Everything is now set for the cutting operation using the hydraulic UPC. Loosen the blade guard locking knob until the swing guard rests on the pipe. Turn the feed knob in a clockwise direction to lower the blade close to the pipe. Do not let it touch the pipe. The motor bracket locking knob should be tight, yet allow the bracket to slide. Open the ball valve on the motor. This begins the blade rotation, so keep your hands clear of the blade. Open the valve on the water tank to begin the cooling process. Note the position of the depth gauge pointer. Depending on the pipe thickness, turn the feed knob clockwise until the pointer indicates the desired depth of the cutter, allowing one quarter inch to one half inch beyond the depth of cut. Slowly feed the blade into the pipe. Rotate the UPC in the direction of the arrow on top of the motor bracket. As you proceed with the cut, space wedges about every 9 to 12 inches. As you can see, the UPC is easy to assemble and operate. When cutting the pipe, Run the blade up out of the pipe before shutting down the UPC. Otherwise, if the pipe shifts, it could cause the blade to bind or wedge. This demonstration is meant only as a visual guide to its operation. Please refer to the user manual for complete instructions on how to use and care for the universal pipe cutter. Always follow these guidelines for UPC maintenance. Grease the motor at the fittings. Rinse off the inside of the saw blade cover and the machine. Cover the air intake port with the end cap for storage. Hose off the UPC exterior and wipe down the unit. Inspect and clean the rollers. Inspect the blade. Occasionally lubricate pins, links, screws, and turnbuckle assembly with water displacing lubricant, such as WD-40. For pneumatic models, open the valve, add a few drops of oil into the air intake port, rotate the blade manually for corrosion protection, and close the valve.